They didn't even ring the doorbell like the note said. Maybe they did, and my dog got up earlier when I was doing a video, but um, I just thought I'd show everybody that my new gun parts came in. Big knife. Which is kind of cool. Always like gun parts, right? Everybody always likes gun parts. Here's my laser. Wow, that's a weird way to open that box. Oh, I have to cut this one open too, huh? All these parts are made in the USA, by the way. Just thought I'd throw that out there. Oh, wow. That's small. Better tell you how to attach it. Get four chances to win a thousand dollars. Beardy in. Little sticker I got. Weapon technologies. Came with the box, obviously. Oh, they even send you little tools to put it on with, huh? Must not have batteries. Ah, what we were waiting on. What we were waiting on indeed. Should have bought a loader with it. <laughs> Won't even sit on the table. That's a 32 round clip for those people wondering. And yeah, I live in a state where you're allowed to have more than 10 rounds now. So... So, yeah. Win another chance to win $1,000. Oh, cool. <laughs> That's my holster, obviously. That looks very small compared to the one I was going to get. But uh, it clips on. So I don't have to worry about somebody trying to steal it. It's imperfect too. Man, this is a tiny gun now that you look at it. <laughs> Oh, that's bad ass. <laughs> this was my Christmas present, by the way. I've been waiting for this for over three weeks. It was on back order. Cannot wait to shoot that clip, though. Only problem with this clip is it can't leave my state. <laughs> so basically, I have to use this. My shit's always loaded. It's just never, there's never one in the chamber. I'll prove it. See, you see any ammo in there? No, obviously, because I just put the clip in, but um, I never leave my gun loaded. Or, I mean, I never leave my gun off safety. I always treat it like it's loaded. But yeah, it's empty. It's just a little uh, heads up for, you know, people that don't know gun safety. But yeah. <laughs> whack, whack. 
That was a joke, by the way. <laughs> that just makes it so damn long. That clip. It's badass, though. Okay. I do not think this fits. And if it doesn't fit, I'm sending it back. Yep, get to send this back. Because it should just slide right on there. I don't know if I'm doing something wrong, but... Yeah, they sent me the wrong one. That's always lovely. Pretty sure it's the wrong one. No. So that's why they send you this stupid little wrench with it that is in the bottom of the bag now. That's a pain in the butt. You have to take something apart to get it on. I was just looking at the box. And it fits over something else. I think. And there's the battery, but where's the battery go? I didn't think it. I think I thought it would have just came with the battery in it, but you know, like most things do. Let's see. Oh, that's for the holster. Aha! I see, says blind man, but I still don't think see this thing fitting my gun. Because, uh, yeah, there ain't no way it's sliding on there. Which is funny because I ordered the one that was specifically for my gun. Just taking it apart to see if that... I might have to call my brother on this one. Where'd that other Allen wrench go? Yeah. 
And yeah, people, I still keep fish. Can't see the little crab tank behind me. That's basically all that's in there right now is crabs and a couple pieces of coral, three pieces of coral, two zoas, uh, which are very small. I found them on the rock. And then um, a couple of xenia that I fragged out of the tank downstairs. Oh, I get it now. I don't have to call my brother for nothing. It does fit my gun. I was trying to put it on wrong. Hadoo! Had to take the gun apart to get it together. But yeah, it does fit. That's badass. Maybe I should uh, put the battery in, though. Okay, where'd the other Allen wrench go? I thought I was going to have to call my brother there for a second, but to... or his wife, at least there's the other Allen wrench. It was buried. So a little green battery. Darn it. Put the battery in upside down. I think. Yep, put the battery in upside down. Works. I don't know if you saw the, the dot over there on the wall. Or you see the dot over there? This is what I bought for my birthday, basically, because I didn't really get anything on my birthday. I just got to go to uh, South Dakota and go to Mount Rushmore. I guess I, I got something, but I mainly paid for my whole birthday. And I know that's not something to, you know, be mad about, but, you know, I had a good time, all that. But at the same time, I wish I would have had some, or I wish I would have saved a little bit of that money. Like, just a little bit. A little more than I did. Because uh, if I did, I would have more than I have right now. And be able to do half the things I said I, I want to do. And a lot of it is not having the funds. A lot of people don't get that. Sucks getting older. Have to pay for everything your damn self. So if you're still young out there, live young while you can. Because it only lasts so long. And don't hold hatred for other people. 
like I said in earlier video. I can also get a flashlight attachment for this. That would go right here. It would block the the laser though. Like here, I'll show you. You obviously see that just added something onto my own gun. But yeah. Now if I need to make a shot in the dark, I'm gonna actually hit what I hit. And that's just in case, you know, somebody ever breaks into my house or whatever the fuck. But, yeah. Whatever have you, I mean, I should say. Although it does make it harder to go like that. Just a tiny bit. Just a fraction. Makes it a little heavier, too. But it looks cool. It looks like it was meant to be there. I thought I was going to have to ship that back. Now you see. Can't wait till I can get the parts to make this thing fully. <laughs> Not that you really need that in this state, but it's nice to have it. And by fully, I mean uh, semi or fully automatic. And it's just a nine millimeter. So, you know, you think about that fully automatic. Hey, look, Ant. Bye, Ant. Sick of those little things being in the house. Damn rain outside. But yeah, I thought I'd show everybody what I bought today. Let's see if it fits in the holster with the clip and all that other junk on there. Yeah, it does. Wow. A little hard to put on safety, though, like that. Pretty cool, right? By the way, for those people out there who do not know, I no longer am a vegetarian. I was a vegetarian for 15, 14, 15 years. And I slowly started getting sick all the time. And I don't know if you notice, I'm not as nasally. I'm not as congested. Uh, I, I'm not having dietary problems as much. Um, I was having literally anemia every other couple weeks and it's not good when, to live life like that. And, um, the reason I even bring it up because I know there's a lot of people out there that are my friends that are still vegetarians and I don't knock you for it. I just think that, uh, at the end of the day, if you're not getting enough protein or intake of essential vitamins, then you're going to be sick all the time. And then there's the other factor that when you're a vegetarian or you're a vegan, you don't intake enough uh, calcium and zinc and a couple other things that cause easy bone breaks like what's happened here in my hand. Because I did break this four years ago, but I don't know if you heard that just a few minutes ago. That's never been in the right spot ever since. And you can't achieve those goals being vegetarian or vegan. And I need to have my hand obviously fixed. But the, the point I'm making is it's hard to lift things like really heavy things and hold on to them without hand shaking and I'm not moving my arm at all. It just shakes because obviously there's damage in the nerve. Don't punch fire doors, people. Don't get angry. The anger is not worth it. Don't be so fast to anger that you can't control your emotions. But yeah, it took me about 20 minutes to put all that together. You see it.
Oh, and go out and check out Johnny Cashville. I know I said that in earlier's video, but uh, yeah, he's got some. He's got a new song out there. He's got some good tunes, and if you haven't heard him before, you you should just look him up. And Austin Foreman too. He's got that song "Pallet Full of Ballots." A couple others, and uh, I know they differ by one's country, one's one's rapper, yada yada. But at the same time, people have forgotten about country rap, and no, it's not called crap. <laughs> Sorry, I had to throw that out there because I don't know how many times I've sat there and l listened to somebody s sit there and berate other music. You know, I, I literally don't care what type of music it is. It's all music. Even that stuff I don't like, like nasty-ass Cardi B. But, you know, it's funny. When, when Cardi B's own song comes on, she turns it off so her daughter doesn't hear it. That's, that should just show you that she doesn't want her kid hearing her own music. Then why the, why the hell should other people? I'm just pointing it out there. Part of being a music major, I guess. But yeah, now this thing's like a hammer. Wow, cha cha. <laughs> Looks like an axe. Yeah, stay away from all reform shaped meat. It's full of crap, like New England Endler said. That's the truth. In a couple days, uh, I've been trying to get rid of my cichlids for those people out there that have been wondering. In a couple of days, I'm going to go see if our aquarium of, of Boise is open to the public or whatever. And I really should be studying for my driver's test right now. So I'm probably going to end this video pretty soon. But yeah, um... Hopefully I pass it today. And yeah. If I don't, it is what it is. Got to pay another f six bucks. That's the only thing that sucks about Idaho. You don't get three tries, but... The other thing that's cool about it is the test is pretty much the same unless you're going for a class C, a class B, or a class A. The test that you take is the same, so they don't give it back to you because if they gave it back to you, you could cheat. Plain and simple. But the point I'm making is a lot of it's common sense, and a lot of my problem is, is I, I rush through things, and... I need not to do that today. I kind of know what I got wrong and all that. I only got nine questions wrong last time, so I, I should be pretty good this time. <sighs> but I, I think that's dumb how nine isn't... Um, passing because it's a 78 if there's 40 questions on a test that's a 78 a 78 is a high c and that in my book has always been passing so and then after that i get to go take the driver's test or i can go s study for like a week or or you know drive around for like a week and then um I'm just telling you guys what, what, what's going on in my life because, you know, I haven't really given that information in a long time because I don't really think it's necessary all the time. And um, the point I'm making is, is that I'm trying to get things moving forward so I'm not sitting on my ass at this house all the time. And with a driver's license, I'll be able to go out and deliver my plants to other people like, I grow all kinds of vegetables. Everybody should know that by now. I built a freaking $2,000 greenhouse. 
that has cost me about $170 a month to heat during the winter. There's where the other half of my money went, if you were wondering, was to a greenhouse for the winter. So seven months, just about, because that's about, eh, hold on. Our winter here starts in about October. October, November, December, January. Okay, six months. I was off by one. Uh, it our, our spring starts about end of February, beginning of March. So by that time, I won't be spending a damn dime on heating. Thank God. Be able to save like $170 a month plus like five, six months. You do the math. I ain't doing it right now. $1,000. There's where $1,000 of my money went. List to heating. I need to find a better way to heat the greenhouse, like a wood fire stove, and then put uh, the type of material that doesn't burn on top and cut out certain sections of the plastic so that the wood fire stove's in the corner. It's blowing the smoke up and in the air. And then I don't have to use gas, electricity, other than for lights. which I've been using two different or three different heaters out there. And it's seeming to actually keep it warm now. But yeah, I really just started this video so I could show you guys the new stuff I got for my gun. And that's about it. I'm going to probably get a wrap to put around the bottom here. Cause I don't like having, you know, unwrapped stuff, man. L, you got to go poo poo. I could smell you. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this short 30-minute video. Uh, I really just was rambling, shooting the shit. Have a good good day, everybody. And don't forget with the faith of mustard seed, you can move any mountain. Don't let molehills become mountains or obstacles in your way. Have a very, very blessed day. And don't forget to drain the swamp. And I'm talking about the proverbial one of your life. I'm not talking about politics there. I'm talking about your life. Because everybody has toxicity in their life. Everyone. And with that being said, in one more minute, I'm gone. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. <clears throat> and if you don't like this channel, I, I mean, it's, maybe it's not the channel for you. I guess that's a class three laser. It can cause you to go blind. <laughs> I'm going to have a lot of fun shooting with this clip, though. I really am. Too bad I can't go live from my cell phone, or I, I would totally do a live video of shooting that clip. But I'll just do a bunch of shorts and then clip them together and then do the same thing I did last time. 